Okay, this is um, part five of the Telecine video series. Long overdue, I know. My apologies if anybody was actually waiting on it. Um, it's uh, I've just been busy, I guess, and uh, different things have taken priority. But we'll try and get it done today and uh, part six shortly afterwards. Um, part five is the point, the part where we actually transfer, process the raw video footage from the Telecine unit, uh, which, if you might remember, was high resolution. Uh, video from a, a Sony camera uh, and we're going to uh, process that to get rid of the black bars etc and resize it to standard definition uh, for this first test which will be with a super 8mm film uh, following that we'll do it with a 16mm film and transfer it to keep the high definition transfer it to a new high definition okay <coughs> excuse me I'm going to use two pieces of software here uh, the first of those is um, Virtual uh, Dub, uh, which I did have open, but I now seem to have uh, lost. So we'll just quickly find it. Okay, here it, here it is. Uh, this is actually Virtual Dub mod. It's based on Virtual Dub. We can't actually use Virtual Dub because it will not process an M2TS file, which is what my Sony camera produces, MPEG-2 transport stream high resolution etc so to get it to do high resolution we need to pick up the virtual dub mod version of this free software and we go to open video file normally with virtual dub you can drag the file across but with this particular file um, you can't with this particular uh, type of file rather you can't because um, it's uh, m2ts so you have to open the dialog box you have to go down here make sure you're on all types which indeed i was uh, and then down below here you'll see something which says use AVI synth template you have to have AVI synth installed and if we go down that you'll see M2TS editing as an option so we'll click on that and uh, those files will appear here as indeed they already had and uh, I'm going to select this one I think it's that one I want yep I'm going to select that one and let it open and it opens full screen and if I drag the scrubber along here then you can see what we're getting uh, you'll see the uh, I'll just find the appropriate frame you'll see the black bars on the left and the right from the original telecine recording I've got to get rid of those so the first thing we're going to do is right click on that and reduce the size of the input video so we can see uh, all of it on the screen and on the right hand side is the second window which is the output video after the processing and uh, we're going to right click on that and reduce that as well okay uh, we go to video we click on filters and we add uh, one of two filters first uh, the first one being uh, null transform actually null transform as you might expect doesn't do anything there it shows on on, on the uh, the line uh, on the left there's 1920 by 1080 which is a source left hand window and 1920 by 1080 which is the target the right hand window no transform nothing's happened but what we can do with this filter is crop the video so if we go down to this cropping button uh, we get a new window unfortunately this new window is full resolution and there's nothing you can do to reduce the size of it so it's a problem in terms of this recording because my recording software is only monitoring my main screen but I've got the video camera set up behind so with a little bit of post editing when I finish this you'll be able to see what I can do by shifting this onto my second monitor I can get access to uh, bits that I can't see easily on the other monitor and you'll, you'll see there's an X offset, uh, X1, Y1 offsets and similarly X2, Y2 offsets which allow me to start to trim the, the movie. So I'm going to pull the scrubber on this along until I get a suitable frame. That one was okay, I think. That's good. Uh, notice what we get. We've got um, a gunge at the top of the frame. That's very common in cine cameras, especially if the camera gate's not clean. Uh, we've got a blurring on the left and right edges. Uh, there's gunge at the bottom as well. We want to actually get rid of that as well as the black bars. So I'm going to drag. I can put in the offsets here. One way of doing it, but a quicker way is just to drag. So we get the appropriate shape, approximate shape that we want. I'm pulling this down far enough to uh, to get rid here of, the, of the, that gunge piece. Uh, by doing so, I'm losing somewhat 
something of my picture area but I'd rather it was clean and I don't mind the bit I'm losing so there we go um, I can slide this along to just check other portions of the of the video see how it's looking of course one thing I don't know at the moment at least not exactly is whether or not I have got the aspect ratio right what I would do if I was doing this properly so to speak is to calculate the aspect ratio um, using these offsets and adjust the offsets to get it right but a quick and dirty way is to close this window you have to do it via OK for the processing to take effect that's on the, the bottom left there so we'll click on OK and on the uh, dialog box here with the filters you can see the target um, resolution which is 1343 by 982 um, so I'm going to just grab a calculator useful devices even in this day and age and do a quick calculation 1343 divided by uh, 982 and that gives me 1.367 so we want an aspect ratio of 1.33 so um, we want to make it a little bit a little bit um, uh, narrower this way uh, to make, get that right I'm going to just do it by by trial and error again not the way to do it but it'll suffice for this video so I'm going to pull this in a bit a few pixels I'll pull this in a bit a few pixels we'll click on OK again let's modify it to 13309 by 982 another calculation 1309 by 982 and that's given me 1.332 so that was a pretty good guess Okay, so that's the black bars got rid of. You can't see that on the right hand, uh, on the right hand target window yet, but you will shortly. Um, before we do, we go to um, add again, and we're going to add a second filter uh, for resizing the video. It's called resize. It's down there. We will add that, and we get a dialog box allowing us to enter some dimensions. So 720 width, five oh, oops, 576 height. Uh, that's the standard PAL DVD uh, 1.33 ratio. The actual ratio of those pixels, incidentally, is 1.25, uh, but the pixels in a DVD transfer are 1.09 themselves in aspect ratio, and that converts the 1.25 to the 1.33. Uh, in filter mode, we've got a different filters we can use for resizing the picture. Since we're downsizing, uh, nearest neighbor is the best to pick for that, and we'll click OK. Uh, so we've got the two filters in operation there. The first one does the cropping. The second one does the resizing. We'll click on OK. The resize immediately occurs. Uh, I'm going to pull it up to 100% again now so you can see it better. Uh, notice, however, that we've got a squash picture on the black bars. So you might think, oh dear, it's not cropped. But that's just a matter of refreshing the screen. Pull the scrubber and there we go. And there's our resized, there's our resized video. So it's now it's a matter of just doing that processing. So file, save as, and uh, we'll uh, we'll call it. Um, I've got a Malawi test up there already. Uh, we'll call it Malawi two, uh, and uh, because it's a film that was taken in Malawi in the late seventies, early eighties on the Super Eight, as I think I mentioned before. Uh, the file type we've got little options here: audio, video, um, interleave, AVI file is the one we'll pick. Uh, the alternatives are an OGG uh, OG file, which is low res resolution, a Matroska file. Uh, Matroska is a great container. Um, I put all my videos in it eventually for final showing, but um, it's it's not very good. In fact, it's it's pretty bad when it comes to finding software to edit it. Uh, so we need it in an editable format because obviously you might want to edit the film before you finalise a display print, so to speak. So we'll leave it on audio, video, interleave, and we click save. And we immediately get a dialog box which shows the process happening. And uh, because this is a, a 400 foot reel, I think it's going to take a little while. Uh, we've got around about 14, 15, 15 minutes or so of processing to do. So we'll switch off for a moment uh, while that happens. OK, back again. Um, as you can see, we've got about uh, uh, 14, uh, oh, what am I talking about? We've got about 30 seconds left to go uh, before the processing is finished. 
Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in, uh, when we were doing it is that when you choose the AVI format, uh, you're going to get a big, a big file. So we'll just see how big it is in fact going to be in a second uh, when we um, when we finish, which will be very shortly. And there we go. Uh, when it's finished, the dialog box disappears, and uh, that's that. So if I just drag across the uh, the screen here where the file has been saved, Malawi 2 it was, just a quick look here, you'll see it's um, 42 uh, megabytes. So quite a large uh, file, um, but of course it's only an intermediate file. We're going to, uh, we're going to get rid of it. Um, by converting it into a standard definition file, so we'll just we'll just close that and we'll shut down Virtual Dub Mod, and um, we'll open up a suitable video editing software. And I'm going to use um, Vegas Movie Studio HD, which uh, is not free, unfortunately. I got this uh, this this one came when I bought the video camera, I accompanied the video camera. We'll click on new project and we'll just check we've got standard sort of set, set, settings. I've got Europe and Asia, 50 Hertz PAL, stereo, DVD PAL, DVD setting there, um, normal, not widescreen of course. Uh, we won't worry about the name because we don't want to save the project. Um, and we'll just click on OK there and then we will drag across our Malawi 2 file and then subsequently drag it down to the video slot and uh, it had a 5.1 surround um, from the camera recording we're not interested in the audio all it's got on it is the projector noise so I'm going to click um, no to that uh, and then I'm going to mute all of the audio channels because we don't need them so up here what we've got is um, our process file there it is and we're going to go to project and we're going to go to render as uh, and I'm going to pick a suitable title and call it Malawi 2 again uh, and the codec I'm going to use uh, this has got a main concept audio, audio codec MPEG 2 which will give me an MPG file uh, since it will have no sound I'm going to rename that to an M2V file afterwards um, but for the moment that's what we need here and the template we want we've got a lot of different templates there is DVD pal uh, we'll go to custom and we'll click off save project markers we don't want those we'll go to custom and we will check various things first of all uh, this is the video tab uh, MPEG 2 there's the width there's the height 25 frames per second 4 by 3 display uh, we don't want square pixels square pixels will give you 7 to 720 over 576 which is 1.25 we want 1.09 pixels and if you look up here it's already got that uh, there so 4 by 4 by 3 display nothing else to change on that advanced video we can leave the defaults that's fine audio pretty important normally this is this is checked uh, but I de checked it when I was running a few tests earlier so you need to uncheck include audio stream because we don't want the noise of the projector we're going to add music commentary whatever it may be system uh, nothing to change there um, and project again nothing to change notice the pixel aspect ratio 1.093 so that'll make that will transform the um, uh, 720 by 576 file uh, into um, a 1.33 aspect ratio so we can click on OK there. We've already put the title in. We've selected our folder so we can click Save. And the rendering process will start. And we can see it on the right hand window there. Um, so uh, we'll just let, let that run. That's going to take a few minutes as well. And that's that. We're done. So it just says um, rendering complete. Malawi 2. MPG. So we'll close that and we'll just get it out of the way for the moment. And um, uh, here's our Malawi 2 AVI file from before, which is 42 meg. Here's our Malawi 2 MPEG file, which is just 1 meg. And I'm going to rename that 
um, as an M2 V extension uh, because uh, it's silent. So that's the official designation. We'll add a soundtrack to it uh, and edit it um, in the opposite way around. We edit it and add a soundtrack to it a little bit later. So just double click there and it'll bring up my VLC media player. And there we go. There's our um, resized, cropped, finalized, uh, standard definition transfer from the original uh, Super 8 millimeter uh, film. Okay, we're going to move on now and do the same thing with a 16 millimeter, 16 millimeter movie.